So I travel a lot and a lot of people ask me, how do I pack? And I'm about to head off on a six week trip through Central Asia, so I thought I would share with you my packing techniques. So you'd see a lot of people on planes cramming in all this hand luggage. All I bring is another one of these packing cubes, which has a change of undies, a change of socks, a, a nice long sleeve t-shirt to stay warm in the plane and a pair of comfortable track pants. If necessary, you change in the lounge for that. That goes inside a simple backpack with, of course, your laptop when you're traveling because you don't want that stolen from the on hold luggage. You then put in the packing cube with the change of clothes. You then bring in your electricals, nice little container which is the charging cables for the phone, headphones, laptop charger, my multi-power adapter which has two USB ports on it. So between the laptop and the multi-power adapter I have four USB ports uh, and all of that in one nice container. And where do you get these where they zip up nicely from? on Malaysian Airlines and Business Class for the toiletries, which now becomes a beautiful packing container for all your electricals plus your toiletries. And that, to be honest, is all you should need as hand luggage on any short or long haul flight. And that is easy in and out of the airport and in and out of the aeroplane. And the critical element of my packing techniques is these things, a whole bunch of packing cubes that as you can see here I have in different colours and I'll explain why. Packing cubes, they look dorky when you go into a travel shop but actually they're really, really cool. And this is why. You can pack all your different clothes in these packing cubes. And me, I colour code them this way. So black is socks and underwear. Then the brown one is tops, so shirts, t-shirts. The blue ones are bottoms, so pants and shorts uh, and swimwear. And then one extra one for this trip because it's coming up towards winter, a lot of extra woolens, hats and things like that. All the medium sized ones, the large size packing cubes are too big to fit in your bags and the small ones are too small, except for one thing. I have one small packing cube which takes my travel towel first aid kit. Everywhere you go you can just very quickly lay out all of your clothes on the floor or in a cupboard wherever you're staying and go to exactly where you need. Bring one spare empty one which is the red one for me. That's where the dirty clothes go when you finish and then no matter where you are it just all goes straight back into each individual packing cube and back into the big bag in a snap. So if folding everything into nice little rectangles for these packing cubes confuses you and think it's hard, especially t-shirts, let me show you a cool little trick about folding t-shirts and how quickly you can do it. Just simply lay it down, fold on one, uh, finger on one shoulder, finger in the middle, pick it up, twist, and there you have your nice folded t-shirt. And as far as bags go, I like to use the Kathmandu trolley bag, which around its back has the little secret of converting also into a backpack.